Hi everyone, today we are gonna read a book called Follow a Raindrop, and it's written and illustrated by Elsie Ward. And if you look close, there's the girl playing in the rain, but if we zoom in, you'll see that a raindrop is a character in this story as well, and he's saying wee, probably because he's falling from the sky. All right, let's read Follow a Raindrop. Have you ever watched a raindrop wiggle down a window pane? A rainy day can make you wonder, where does rain come from? Where does it go? Follow a raindrop and find out. And the raindrop says, hi, I'm a raindrop. Hi, I'm a kid. <laughs> How silly. The story of a raindrop begins here in the ocean. Rain falls out of clouds and into the ocean. The ocean holds billions and billions of raindrops, more than anyone could ever count. Hi, I'm a raindrop. Hi, I'm a fish. <laughs> but all of the rain doesn't stay in the ocean. The sun comes out and starts to shine. It heats up the water in the ocean. Whoa, am I ever hot? See, because the sun is shining down on all of the drops of water in the ocean. Then something amazing happens. Some of the water seems to disappear. He says, now you see me. Now you don't. Heat from the sun has turned the liquid water into water vapor. This change is called evaporation. See, so he's still there. It's just it's very hard to see the rain when it evaporates and turns to water vapor. Water vapor is a gas that goes into the air. You can't see the vapor or touch it, but it's all around you. The wind carries the water vapor up into the sky. Yoo-hoo, here I am. Whoops. Way up high, the air is cold. The cold air turns the water vapor into tiny droplets of water. This is called condensation. The droplets float together to make a cloud. I'm back. And you see the big storm cloud here, full of raindrops. Okay. Wisps and curls, heaps and puffs, clouds come in all shapes and sizes. Which of these clouds have you seen? Cirrus clouds, they look like this. Cumulus clouds, which are puffy. Stratus clouds, that look like streaks. You should look up in the sky later if the weather's nice. See what kind of clouds you'd notice. As more water vapor cools off, more droplets form. Now the cloud is packed full of water droplets. The droplets begin to bump into one another. They join and grow bigger and bigger. Hey, watch where you're going. Oops, pardon me. No, pardon me, because they're bumping into each other. Soon the droplets are too heavy to float in the air. They begin to fall from the thick, dark cloud. Look, it's raining. Here I come, look out below. See? Pit pat, split splat. The rain makes music on rooftops and puddles on sidewalks. It waters trees and grass and flowers. It fills rivers and lakes and oceans. What falls down but never gets hurt? A raindrop, ha 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 ha, hee hee hee. If it's very cold, the water droplets in clouds freeze into ice crystals. The crystals stick together to form snowflakes. Then snow falls instead of rain. We learned about that on our snow unit this winter. After a while, the rain stops and the sun peeks out. Can you guess what happens next? The sunshine heats up the water in puddles and rivers, lakes and oceans, and it turns the rain back into water vapor. See, just like in the beginning, the sun is shining down and he's saying, uh-oh, here we go again. The water vapor rises up into the sky again. This vapor will cool into droplets and form new clouds. In time, these clouds will make more rain, then the whole cycle will begin again. And he says, so long for now. See, he's turned into water vapor and he's gonna go up into the clouds. Bye, see you soon. Cause she knows eventually he'll fall back down as rain or snow. In fact, no new rain is ever made. The rain bouncing off your umbrella today has fallen to earth billions of times before. Maybe it drizzled on the dinosaurs or on George Washington's head. He's saying, rain, rain, go away. And Washington is saying, I should have brought an umbrella. 
and that same rain will fall to earth billions of times again. It may splash against the window of your great-great-grandchildren or shower down on people living far off in the future. Great-great-grammy, what makes it rain? Well, the story of rain begins in the ocean. What a beautiful day. I just love the rain. So it's the same rain that you see today has been here many times before as part of the water cycle. So the next time you watch a raindrop wiggle down a window pane, think of all the places it's been. Imagine all the places it will go. And remember that before too long, you just may see it again. Hi, remember me? Of course, nice of you to drop in. Okay, let's look at some fun facts. The wettest place in the United States is Mount Waialili, Hawaii. About 460 inches of rain fall there each year. Death Valley, California is the driest place in the United States. Less than two inches of rain falls there each year. The bigger the raindrop, the faster it falls. A large raindrop may, a large raindrop may fall 30 feet in one second. Some rain clouds are more than 10 miles tall. They are full of water droplets and bring heavy rain. You may have seen a rainbow, but have you ever seen a moonbow? Once in a while, an arc of colors can be seen near the moon after a rain shower. Ooh, we will have to look for that, right, next time it rains. All right, so that's a little bit about the water cycle that we learned when we listened to Follow a Raindrop. I've got more stories coming for you this week. Talk to you soon.